Well, this storm has already brought a lot of rain to our area, even more is expected, as Jason is telling us, and that is leading to active flood watches in Tehama County. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum spoke with people living near the Sacramento River in Tehama and near Corning to see how they are preparing. This is the Riverside Crossing mobile home and RV park. It's just a couple hundred feet away from the rising Sacramento River in Tehama. I'm not a meteorologist, but if I see a big storm coming in, it's kind of common sense. You put them together and let's see, everybody uh, better have a plan in, in place. This isn't their first time going through a flood watch, though. In 2017, water was knee deep in the park. I went to everybody and uh, knocked on the door and, and let them know what was going on and then get your all the vehicles moved to a higher ground. And then once that happens, then everybody's pretty much safe. Once the water gets this high, then it starts going around the park. The National Weather Service says the water level near them at the Tehama Bridge is at 205 feet tonight. But come Monday into Tuesday, they predict levels to rise to over 211 feet. That's in the minor flood zone, which could make its way up to these mobile home parks. In fact, I let the River Lodge know, even though it might be close or maybe just to the edge, but let them know, just be on the alert. And some of them actually did pull their trailers out. Rising river levels are also affecting the Vina Woodson Bridge area near Corning. National Weather Service predicts the river will rise to over 183 feet between Monday and Tuesday there. Every day I come here to check the levels of the river to see if it's good for fishing or not. So we, we notice a little changes too because we watch it every day. To prepare for the expected flooding, Tehama County is offering sandbags and sand to create your own. At the County Public Works Office in Gerber, the Los Molinas Yard, the Corning Fire Department, and at the County Complex in Red Bluff. Supply is limited, though. Reporting in Tehama County, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. As for now, the National Weather Service is not predicting major flooding in Tehama County from the Sacramento River, but possibly minor flooding.